The cost for us is less high than it was for Paul. But there is a cost in being a Christian. There is a cost. You've got to do things that are uncomfortable sometimes. You have to deal with an internal battle with sin when you are a believer. And sometimes that is rough. And a lot of us struggle under that internal battle with sin. Dealing with sin as a, as a believer is like, is like it, it, there, there's such a, a self-deceiving element of sin. Have you ever thought about this? Sin is self-deceiving. We're careful about our sin. We guard our sin because we want to keep it. We want to preserve it. And when something threatens our sin, like it's threatening to be exposed by either the Word of God or a sermon or a confrontation with another believer, our automatic response is to suppress, is to push back on whatever thing that is that is wanting to expose our sin. And as a, as a believer, you have to get to a time where you're willing to say to God, I want to be honest before you. And that means if you're going to expose the sin of my heart, so be it. I'm willing to pay the cost. And oftentimes, we, see, we talked about this a little bit in Sunday school, Christianity today can be so superficial. And we're surrounded by Christians that, that are just wimpy. Not in our church, of course. Liberty Baptist is a lovely congregation. But in other churches, we see, we see the Christians are full of this superficial, wimpy Christianity. And it's because they don't want to focus on the fact that their sin is, is terrible to God. It's evil. And anything that threatens to expose that sin, they push back on. People don't want to make small sacrifices for God, like going to church on Sunday. Because if God... If God asks them to go to church and they, they say yes, then, then what else might God ask them to do? And they, they, they preserve and guard the tip of the iceberg so that God can't get in and just in case God wants to deal with everything that rests below the surface. And Christians, they, they refuse to allow God's love and God's light to permeate that tip of the iceberg and so they, they carefully guard it. So if God, if God is asking us to sacrifice something to be spent up, such as going to church, and we say yes to that, then God's going to want to deal with my, the, the lust of my heart, my, my alcohol, living with my girlfriends, uh, the, the swearing, all the stuff that we do. We have this attitude of, if I let God have His way in the little things, then God's going to want the big things. So we preserve, we protect, we guard and in our pride, we deceive ourselves and we suppress things. If somebody confronts us about sin, we, we say things like, what is this yapper yapping about? He doesn't know anything. He hasn't walked a mile in my shoes. And we, we guard our sin rather than counting the cost. God's desire is that He has all of our heart and we are not a lukewarm and superficial, wimpy Christian that can't accomplish anything for God, God wants us to fight that internal battle. 